One year, 52 videos, upload every week, and following my dreams. What's it like trying to be a YouTuber for a full year? Here's what happened. I told my friends about wanting to give it a go. Even going as far as showing them a scuffed 30 second render of what the videos would look like. And all I got was hype and encouragement from them. They helped me a lot with building the groundworks for my channel. Dirk, yellow text guy, recommending editing software that won't watermark the hell out of my videos. And, and Monique, blue text girl, volunteering to do art for the thumbnails. Well, I also immediately shocked by asking for a Rek'Sai doing a Jekka pose. She was only a little disturbed. But they also always did a final review with me before publishing the video for direct feedback and preventing anything weird from leaking out. But if there was something too vulgar, I could just always... Ik ben echt... Dan. Hoe dan? Starting to make the videos, I had a lot of fun. I get to sit back in my sweet gaming chair and laugh at the jokes me and my friends were making. And I was about to share that dopamine with even more people. Every video tried doing something new or different. Spicing up my formula on how to make videos to make them more engaging, keep the attention of possible new viewers. It started off simple by adding new things like colored subtitles for everyone then changing them immediately in the next video to make them easier to read. Then I started adding pictures to further strengthen the expressions our voice lines would interpret. Locations to give little scene switches every now and again to get some more identity for every member of the group. Uh, week by week new stuff came in for me to try out. And looking back at older videos I can definitely see myself improving at the making of these videos. What might surprise most of you however is that my first half of published videos were all in my native Dutch language instead of English. This is for one simple reason. My friend group is Dutch. And I'm not gonna demand everybody to start speaking English just because I wanted to try and make YouTube videos. To me, it would come off as less natural. We would become more quiet, fumble with words. And for me especially, it was difficult trying to get over the idea of needing to say stuff because I pressed the record button. I was putting more and more pressure on myself, thinking I should do more effort into giving commentary. To be fair, this is still something I struggle with. Which is all the more reason I'm thankful for the people around me making the occasional dick joke to make it a bit easier for me. The first half of my year went pretty straightforward. I uploaded videos weekly, discover new tools, and learn about ways how to improve my channel. Move on week by week. I started getting the hang of it. There were some clear kinks to work out. But I always felt really accomplished once I hit the publish button on every Friday. And get excited to see how the videos will do once handed over to Papa YouTube. But eventually all the work did seem to pile up a bit too much. Uh, you see I started to work full time in a physically taxing field with overtime. I started coming home sore and tired with the knowledge that I still have to do even more work and finish making the YouTube video for that week. Things became exhausting and I felt like I barely had any time to sit back on my dope blue gaming chair and actually play a game. This first few weeks have taught me a lot about procrastinating as well. The moment I sit down and wanted to get lazy, maybe just put my work for the video off tomorrow, I started getting the mindset of, well, then I'm just gonna make a quickly botched video and have a lot more stress while making it. So I went up, fixed my goblinoid posture, give myself the needed second wind and start working on the video again. And once I got my focus in the editing process, I was in. I got lost in the editing process, making the extra mile to deliver a better end product and be happy with the results. And I was having fun. Despite all the hard work I dragged myself through every single week. When I did have a day off, I started spending it more and more with uh, Milan. Orange text guy. We know each other for 
quite a couple of years now, and he even helped me reconnect with people like Passy, Purple Text Girl, who I knew from our old game design studies. I spend less time with my Dutch friend group. I simply think it's because I was drifting away from them. Don't get me wrong, those guys are amazing and I'm very thankful for all they have done. But I simply stopped hanging out with them as much as I used to. Through Milan and Passy, I got introduced to some oddly colorful people all across the globe. I met Noodle, Gus and Alex. Very quickly caught myself having an amazing time with all of them. After playing with them for a couple of weeks, I mentioned my channel and asked if it was okay for me to record our gaming sessions. They were... Psyched as fuck! Passy even got mad at me for not having recorded most of our gaming sessions earlier. And being perfectly honest, I was curious to see how one of my videos would do if I was making them with English commentary instead of Dutch commentary with English subtitles. The first one did pretty well. I played Valorant too instead of League of Legends. And I got pretty happy to see that my channel is able to make changes and be met with positivity. The second video, however, blew the fuck up! In my first week of uploading it, it hit over 1,000 views, completely smashing all the previous records I made on my channel. Subscribers came pouring in and I started getting comments from new people all excited about discovering little old me in their feed. Like an excited little child that started spamming my friends about this huge milestone while they were probably doing something stupid like touching grass or spending time with loved ones. The amount of dopamine filling my brain with the good juice that week fueled me to keep this race going all the way to the end. Or at least I thought that when it was happening. You see, that week I learned that YouTube isn't an arrow pointing upwards all the time. Sometimes you catch lightning in a bottle, and other times you eat dirt. After discovering that the following video didn't do nearly as well as the thousand view one, I talked a lot with Noodle about what your view on YouTube needs to be when you make your channel. Seeing it as a numbers game can destroy you. If your new video isn't doing as well as the previous one, in terms of views you can feel like you have failed at what you wanted to do. This was a revelation I really had to sit back and think about in the confines of my amazing gaming chair that I didn't tell you guys about yet. But I think it taught me to stay humble, and from then on, I told myself I was proud of having made a video with over a thousand views. And then I will work just as hard, if not harder, to prove that my content is worth watching for an audience like that. I try my best to make better content. I started to figure out audio a bit better, which still could definitely use some improvement. And at some point I made a video which I was insanely proud of in terms of audio and editing. In my opinion, it should have been one of the bangers that got a lot of views, but it was sadly left in the dust, which is such a shame because I think this is definitely one of my personal favorite videos. And if you guys want to see some of my work, I really hope you give this one a go. Because to me, it is criminally underrated. I'll put a link in the description and maybe put it even in that corner over there. But anyways, that wasn't going to be the next big thing. But after a few weeks have passed, I was met with a brand new wave of excitement. This clickbaiting piece of shit right here! I straight up lied to you fuckers, which got pointed out only twice, this thick thighed motherfucker blew up. At work I was happy to notice it hitting 400 views, but then it jumped to 800. And then I got home, after that it reached its peak of like 2000 views. And again, the nice comments, the subscriber count going up, my brain getting that good juice. It was awesome. And Better yet, the following video did great as well, reaching around 1,000 views. But YouTube has its ups and downs. Surely after these two titans of videos would be standing next to some more humbly numbered videos. But the total average of views had definitely spiked. And down in the comments I started noticing some familiar friendly faces. 
People were actively watching, some even binging my videos, which are compliments that still put a smile on my face to this day. I know that 2,000 views don't mean a lot compared to large channels that do this as a career and have honed their skills over the years, but I didn't care. This is my channel. I made this together with the help of my friends, and I am fucking proud of it. Soon the weeks went by more quickly. Editing became second nature to me, even though some mistakes still peek their head out. But after all is said and done, I did it. After my stubborn ass told himself to do this challenge purely because I wanted to see if I could chase a dream, it had been completed. 52 weeks of hard work online available for everyone to see. And I feel incredibly accomplished. True, I didn't reach far enough to even be monetized or hit numbers crazy like 10,000 views. But I did what I sought out to do, and I liked doing it. I uploaded on YouTube this year simply because I like doing it. And after all, I think that is the mindset that you should have if you want to keep going with YouTube. Which I definitely will. This will not be the last that you will see of me on YouTube. But next year is going to involve some more experimenting. I want to take a bit more time between uploads to see what I am able to do differently. I want to see if I'm able to make entertaining videos about a single player game, going completely solo. I'm considering scripted content like this one, or maybe a bit more towards the funny skit side of things. And you guys have been willing to see my journey so far. You guys down to keep going? Thank you all so much for watching this video. This was a totally different way to make videos compared to my normal content and if you are curious to see what my channel looks like you can always come by and watch a couple of them but for me that's all for now comment subscribe and stuff and yeah see ya